reception. Hope you're all okay and you're having a nice week so far. So as you can see, I'm in school today and I thought I would come on and show you your next challenge. Now, as you can see, Mrs. Swinley told you yesterday that we're doing a brand new topic all about VE Day, which is happening on Friday. So I've come here to show you what we can make that will be your green lollipop stick, which will be your creative one for this week. So we are going to make some bravery medals. Now they're really easy to make and they're lots and lots of fun. So I'll show you how to make these. And then what you can do is you can choose to wear it yourself because we know you're superstars, or you can choose someone in your family who you think has been really brave or has been an absolute superstar that week or is just your hero to wear for the day, hero of the day. So it's up to you. So I'm gonna show you how to make one. I made this earlier today. Okay, so what you need, some colored paper or card. You might need some special gold card, some glue and some scissors. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have the right colours that you want because you can make this and then you can colour them at the end so it's not a problem at all. I'm going to show you how I made mine. First of all, I'm going to cut a strip of green paper. Okay? I'm going to make it quite long because I can always cut it at the end. Then I'm going to get my green one and I'm going to cut the same length of orange one. Okay. Then, guess what? I'm going to do exactly the same with the blue piece of paper. Now, once you've cut your strips, you can move your paper out there because this is going to be what makes your ribbons at the top. So I'm going to get my piece of paper. Now I think they're too long, so I'm going to give them a bit of a chop at the bottom. So I've got my strips of paper. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my glue stick. And I'm going to put a line of glue down half, half of my strip and I'm going to choose which colour order I want to do it in. So I'm going to do blue first, then I'm going to do the orange. So I'm going to stick it on top of one another like that. Then I'm going to put my glue down the orange strip, only halfway down, and get my last colour. And I'm going to make it green. Now, what I need to do is I need to make sure that all of these three strips are about the same size. So this green one needs a little bit of a chop. So I'm gonna cut that one. You might need to get mummies or daddies to help you with that bit. And then my ribbons are ready. Now, what I need to make now is my big shiny medal to go on the end. And I found a lid. Now this is a lid from the sweetie jar in Mrs. McAtomey. So I've taken it and I'm going to do, I made a silver medal last time, so I'm going to make a gold one, okay? I'm going to put it on and I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to draw all the way around the outside to make a big shiny medal, okay? Then once I've done that, it's time to cut it out. Now this is where we need to remember how we cut properly reception. So our scissors always face upwards and it's your paper that moves. So I'm gonna scissors up and I'm going to try and move the paper. Look, the scissors don't move at all. If we start moving the scissors, what can happen? Look, we get ourselves in a real muddle and we can't do it properly. So we keep our hands down Cut round, keep the scissors pointing upwards, and we move the paper all the way around. All done. Now, the only thing left to do here is to stick our medal on. So I put some glue along the bottom, and I'll stick my big gold shiny medal to the bottom. Now on this one, I did some nice glitter. If you've got glitter at home, you could put some nice glitter or you might have some sequins or some pom-poms 
or you might not have that. So you might just have some pens and you might do a lovely design. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of glitter on mine today. I've got some gold glitter here. So I'll put some glue on my metal, sprinkle my glitter all over, pick it up, shake, 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 and my medal is finished. So this is what I want you to have a go at. If you want to make a round medal, you could. It might be that you want to choose to do a square medal or even a star medal. You can do whatever you want. This is your green challenge. Once you have finished this, if you can ask mummies and daddies to either take a picture of it and put it on learning book or send us an email, that would be brilliant. Okay, have a lovely time doing this and we will see you all very soon. Bye reception.